to talk and explain the um, standard cell layout of LFSR. And LFSR stands for Logic Feedback Shift Register. Before I'm going in depth into LFSR, firstly I'm going to give a brief explanation about how LFSR is formed. Basically, it is formed using pre-designed logic cells given, for example, D flip flop, NAND gates, NOR gates, XOR gates. The cells are created using CAD tools, which are drawn into schematic and layout-based representations. These are the basic cells that make up LFSR. Before creating LFSR layout, first, we need to identify the logic pattern that is given. Next, we need to construct the schematic of the LFSR using the D3 floor and XOR gates that are pre-designed. Place the D3 floor and XOR gates as shown in the video. They are placed like that for a specific reason for fulfilling the logic pattern. To efficiently create the LFSR, standard cell library must be used. With the cell library already created, we can start on the LFSR layout. In standard cell library, both the D3 floor and XOR have similar pitch length, but variable width due to the size constraints. First, to create a new layout, click on File, New, and then Cell View. A pop-up screen will appear. Enter the cell view LFSR and set the tool to Virtuoso. From an empty layout, the design of the D3 floor and XOR gate need to be instantiated from the standard cell library into the layout. So instance icon is selected. Then browse to the location of the D3 floor and XOR layout in standard cell library. After the D3 floor and XOR is instantiated, they are positioned accordingly to the schematic. After positioning the cell accordingly to the schematic, all the VCC and ground need to be connected together by moving the delta X of the cells. The connections of the input and output of the cell follow the connections of the schematic. Metal line are used for lung connection instead of polysilicon line because polysilicon line have higher resistance than metal, which will introduce delay. After completed the LFSR layout, there is a need to check for error. First, perform the DRC check to ensure that there is no error. After DRC check, do extraction and ensure that it has been extracted. After extraction, the extracted layout will shown in the library manager. Then close the layout and open the extracted layout in the library manager. In the extracted layout, click on verify and then LVS to do a LVS check. A pop-up screen will appear rods for LFSR in the cell and the schematic and extract it. Ensure that the view and the schematic is the schematic file and extract it is the extracted file. As for the rules file, verify that the device lvs.rul is selected. Then click on run to generate. After clicking on run, a pop-up screen will appear. Check if the run has succeeded. If it has succeeded, click on OK. Click on Output to check if there are any errors between the schematic and the extracted layout. A pop-out screen will appear. Check if the net list is matched. If it is matched, the LFSR layout is then completed. Mm -hmm.